Hey everybody, this is Sandra, and I just got to work. I'm an hour late, but uh, the word the Lord gave me for today is Joshua 24, 14, and 15. It says, choose today. It says, now, therefore, fear. Fear in Greek means reverence. The Lord, which is our master in Greek. And serve him in sincerity. It means purity in Greek. And in truth, that means rightly in Greek. And put away the gods, the little g, which is false gods, false doctrine, which your fathers, which is Satan in Greek, served on the other side of the flood. And in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord, which is our master in Greek. 15. says, and if it seems evil, which means wrong in Greek, unto you to serve, that means minister in Greek, the Lord, which is our master in Greek, choose you this day whom you will serve it means minister in Greek let me turn it over here whether the gods which is little g which is false gods false god doctrines which your father which is Satan in Greek served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods little g which is false gods false doctrine of the Amorites Amorites were Highlanders, Hillmen. Um, let me see where I'm at. Uh, in whom land ye dwell, means inhabit in Greek. But as for me and my house, we will serve, that means to minister in Greek, the Lord, which is our master in Greek. And Moses' day, when Moses come down and they was doing all the sin and evil and what was going on, he said, God said for the Christians to get on one side, for the ones who want to serve Satan, get over on that side. And God opened up that ground and swallowed them up. Well, God's getting ready to swallow up. God said that, and I have told you this before, God said that you cannot be a Christian and abort a child. God give you these children. They're a blessing. You know what? God said before or last year when he told me, he says, "There's you don't have to abort a baby. If you don't want to have a child, get yourself fixed. Have your husband or whoever it is get fixed if you don't want to have kids. You don't have to keep aborting them. Just get yourself fixed. There's things that you can take as a woman that can put it in your arm for five years and you can't get pregnant. There's other stuff that you can use. There's no reason that you have to abort a child. Be responsible and be an adult, God says. True. Two, God is getting ready to draw the line. God said for this next election, and I'm telling you, this is not for me. This is from God. God said at this next election, any Christian that goes into that booth and boots for a Democrat, God said to tell you he's done with you. He's wiping his hands over you, and he's turning you over to Satan. And the Bible says when God turns you over to Satan, he gives you a vile mind. That's a reprobate mind. God said there is no more time to play house. There's no more time. God said we are in the last days. We are closer than you think for us to go home. That he no longer has time to fool around for someone to be saved. Whatever it takes is what he's got to do now, today, to bring that person in, that soul, so they do not go to hell. God said to tell you he's warning you. He's warning the church. He's warning every preacher. God said that the pulpit is going to be judged. Every preacher in that pulpit is going to be judged. God said, you either get on your knees and repent, and you start seeking the Lord. You get in your word, and you start reading and praying and fasting, and get up and repent for what you've done. Playing house is over with. He's going to clean house in the church. He's going to clean the preachers out, the ones that's not of God. I'm just telling you what God says. I pray every time God puts up my spirit to put something on Facebook, and I always pray, God, open the door that 100% of you shut the door. Be zero of me, God. 
I don't want nothing in it. I want it to be all God. So God is warning you that if you're a Christian, there ain't no more abortions for you. God said that you need to be getting your knees and you need to be praying. You need to be crying out for your children. You need to be fasting for your children. God said we're in the last days. He said, I've warned you, I've warned you, I've warned you, I've warned you. I have sent you my prophets, but you will not listen. You're so into enjoying the sin that you're doing and then going to church on Sundays and claiming you're Christian. God says he knows who you are. You ain't no Christian. God says you're lukewarm. God says he's going to spit you. He's going to spew you right out of his mouth. That's what the Lord says. You ain't going to get away with nothing that you think you're going to get away with. God says it's time to clean your house. This is here. Or here. This house. Clean it. Get it right. Get on your knees. Start praying. Start reading your words. Start fasting, God said. The rapture soon. He says the 666 is soon. The Antichrist. He says, but my people. He says, my people. They're on their knees praying. They're crying. God, give us more time for souls to be saved. Give us more time, Lord. Give us more time. God's giving them more time. He says, I'm trying to give you more time. You choose who you vote into the offices. He says, I sent you, Trump. I sent that man. God said, I chose him for such a time as this. Now you get behind him and you back him. If you don't like something that he's doing, then pray for him. God said, do you remember what it was like when he saved you? Do you remember the sins that you did before he saved you? Do you remember the sins that you did even after he saved you? How long did it take God to clean you up? And we're still not done. How long, God said, do you forget what you did? So, that's all God's given me today. Just take it how you will. You like it or not. It's your problem, not mine. Because I do what I'm told. And this is what God said to give you. Get your house in order. God said judgment's coming to the United States for all the abortions that we boarded the babies. We as Christians, we may not have boarded a baby. But we allowed it. We didn't do anything to fight to stop it. God said he has this woman that's running right now for the babies, he said. She's trying to defend them. He said, pray for her. He chose her for such a time as this. Call her up. Ask her, what can you do to get involved? Get involved as Christians. Get involved as your church, as a group. Unity. You need unity, God said. Get involved. Being silent. You're going to stand in front of him, he says, and you're going to be judged for what you did and you did not do. Get involved. So that's all God's given me today. Y'all take it as you will. Like it or not. Have a good day. Amen.